Okay, this will be a quick help of how to increase your FPS on uh, Killing Floor 2 and it also works for Rising Storm 2 so you can increase your FPS from 62 to about 122, 144. You will need Notepad++ for this. I think it's easier. You can use normal Notepad I think but I do not use it but that's all in the description and all in the guide but I'm using Windows 10 so basically what you want to do is open up your computer so it could be my computer up here or anything like this go to the documents just click just press M go down to my games open up my games in my games click again go into killing floor 2 into killing floor 2 into KF game into config and you want to open up these two so right click edit with notepad plus plus this will open up then when this opens up Oh, let me drag it bigger, bigger, bigger. I do have all the other ones open, but I'll just close them just so you know. Uh, okay. Then control F and just do B smooth. And on B smooth, this will come up for the very first one. You want to change this. Yours is probably true. So yours probably looks like this. But you want to change it to caps, capitals, false. Then right below it, minimum smooth leave it at whatever it is then change max move to 120 i do have 144 hertz but i'm not sure how the game copes with that so i set it at 120 then just press find next then change the next thing again change this again to false because it probably is true then right below it change these change this one this one will be this will say 62 like this you want to change it to 122 because it's something to do with 2f 2 point or whatever once they're changed press next again and it should be just these two on this file then just save it so you can just press save i don't need to press save because it's already edited then open up the kf game in the same way and do Control f be smooth change this one to false and the only problem with this one is when you change when you change this to false, scroll down a little bit and you will see this one. It's a bit further down. Then change maximum smooth frames all the time. So max smooth. You can pause the video at any time if I am going too fast, but I am talking English and pretty smooth. So yeah, change that one. And then just press next. So that's the only one here. But it's better if you just go smoothed. Frame search, there it is. 122, 122, it's only those two in this one. Save it again. I don't need to save it because it's not edited. Uh, and then just quickly load Killing Floor. It might look a bit weird on my uh, PC because I'm using a game capture. And if I move this around a second so you can see the top of the screen because the display capture seems to be a bit weird. Then I can open up Origin. Okay, now we're back on the game. I had to reload the game because the display capture was cutting off the top section up here. As you can see in the main menu, 95 FPS. I'll show you my. Uh, graphics there you go I'm on borderless at the moment doesn't matter I've set all the thing everything up to maximum and if I press solo offline I don't weekly I want survival for the moment I just press play the FPS does drop as you can see it should load pretty quick yeah I had to cut I had to just cut so the load the game because the OBS was messing up and I didn't want to stop because then I'd have to turn off other stuff but this just shows you that it works Hang on a second, and then it should be quite high FPS for people who are running maximum stuff. Hang on, wait for the graphics. There you go. As you can see, FPS at the top, 114, 113. Run around, and it is absolutely smooth. Better than 60 FPS. The graphics, obviously, all maxed out. It Works like a treat. 
much better than uh, having 60 FPS. I hope that helps. I'm gonna go cut this now and finish my uh, game. Force you on a bit. 